All right, great start. Let us go on to the next one. Yeah, 100% agree with the feedback. This is a harder to read survey, um, so it makes it a little bit unusual, but we often know sometimes people get a little bit excited about branding. Right? And so sometimes we have the idea, of, let's just put lots of branding in there. Great. <laughs> I like these, a uh, lot of questions here. Awesome. So really great feedback. They're pretty short ones. Um, let's take a dive in. The visual, I will 100% agree. Um, <laughs> really great feedback. I like to see the emotional engagement in the feedback here as well, too. Um, yeah, if I just invited you, let's say that I just had you attending my event, I probably know the name of the event or the name of the conference. This is kind of a weird way to set it up but at least there's a welcome, so that's a great start. Okay, so let's take a closer look. Um, is this the first time you attended this event? Now, if I've just had you attend my event and I don't know this information about you, it might be a little bit weird. It's a weird way to start the conversation. So yeah, the visual is very disconcerting. And if you also give me that feeling of, do you even know who I am? Do you know what event this is? Is this a template? Now, we love survey templates, but if you're customizing the experience, you probably want to customize the questions and the appearance as well, too. So is this the first time? Yes or no? If this is the first time, was it better than the last time? Again, what are we really measuring here? Um, and it's unnecessary to show this question. Anytime you come across, if this is, or if you said yes to the above, that's a bad sign. That's a bad sign. This is basically paper thinking. There's nothing wrong with paper. We love it, but it's not quite as dynamic as an online survey type experience. So you have the ability to add logic, use question display logic here, even use branching if you need to send them down different paths. But there's no reason whatsoever to show me the question number two if I've said no to the one above. Um, number three, horrible. This is one of our least favorite uh, kinds of issues, double barreled questions. Was this event useful and engaging for you? Yes or no? Again, with the binary, there's a lot of yes, no happening here, as we can see. Um, but this is a really, really common um, question, sort of error, a logical error here that we know if someone says yes, we have the question of was this event useful or was this event engaging or both? And if they say no, equally unlikely to be able to tell exactly what the issue is here too. So we need to split those apart this happens very commonly because someone says, hey, we can only have three questions. So people end up combining many, many different questions into multiple parts, um, into one consistent one. And as a result, we're not able to actually measure anything. Number four, this is actually a net promoter score type question, isn't it? How likely are you to re recommend this event to others? This is definitely not the right scale. Use the right question. And who are others? We're very cautious even with net promoter score. How likely are you to recommend such and such? This is a great question and I agree it could be later on in the survey, but also who are the others? Are these members of my professional network? Are these my colleagues? Are these my family, friends? Others is a little fraught sometimes, so more clarity can be better. Uh, did you like Monday or Tuesday better? Presumably this is a two day event. How many answers do you think are gonna be in that dropdown? Don't use a dropdown menu if you only have two answer options. When I see a drop down, I expect there to be seven, eight more and give some confusion about, okay, it seems a little bit lazy to say, oh, people are going to have to click the menu and then they're going to have to click their answer. But anything you can do to make that a little bit easier for people, just do it. Um, number six, agree. This is a horrible question. Um, <laughs> there's no way to figure out what's being measured here. We're trying to figure out in general, are some sessions better? Ask them about the specific sessions doesn't make sense. There's a mismatch between the questions and answers. And again, the checkbox, you can say yes and no. Number seven is my favorite on this one. We like an open-ended question. It's a great idea to be able to capture other feedback. However, what else really isn't much of a question. It's more of a placeholder out there. Um, a little bit, I don't know, offhand kind of, and whatever. Um, also, 100 characters is just 20 words. So if you really want people to explain something, be very clear on what you're explaining and also make sure that they have enough space to do it. So overall, kind of a weird one. At least it has a purpose, we can tell, getting some feedback, but clarity is missing on this one. The logical flow doesn't make sense either um, from the intentionality point of view or the building the actual feature logic point of view. 
questions answers are uncleared. And a couple of you have said here, what is the point of this question? What are we measuring? You are looking for some sort of report, presumably. So are you going to get the right data from those reports? And also again, again with the order, why are we putting them in this order? Does it make sense?